and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Bant midrange in best of one. That's right, we're going to be playing some best of one here for this sweet looking donation deck. Um, this deck looks pretty okay, Tra, if you ask me. So we have four God Eternal Oketras that we have um, that we're going to be ramping into. That's kind of the the goal of our deck. They're going to be our top end. We have four Gilded Goose, four Paradise Druid, two Incubation Druid. Um, so we have those 10 uh, spells that we're going to be ramping up, trying to get Oketra out. And then we have uh, a lot of cheap creatures that we can take advantage of Oketra's, um, uh, like that first part that whenever we cast a creature, we make a 4-4. So that makes like Giant Killer even better. Giant Killer is a pretty good creature on its own. You know, the chop down is pretty awesome. It can be there, tap stuff. But if you can spend one mana and get a 4-4 four four along with Giant Killer, that's even better. So like having like six mana and be able to play Oketra, then immediately play Giant Killer, or Oketra immediately play Gilla Goose, that's really where we want to be. <clears throat> hey, happy new year there, Snow. Um, so that's kind of what our deck's all about. Of course, we have a sideboard over here because of Vivian's minus five. It can go grab a creature. So we have some other we have some creatures in here that we will be able to go grab if need be. But um, yeah, that's uh, we have the Sphinx of Foresights that can help set everything up, help smooth out our draws and everything like that too. Um, so it looks like a pretty pretty fun deck. Bant creature deck. I'm a fan. So here we go. We're going to play some best of one. Uh, we're just going to play the deck in ranked, even though it's a donation deck. It's the easiest way to play best of one decks. <clears throat> and we're going to go play a bunch of games. Let's see. Did I did I choose best of three? Oh, we're in a best of three match. Whoops. Oops. Good game. They, it's the 31st, they just reset ranking, so it doesn't, doesn't even matter. It doesn't affect us. <laughs> we're just over here giving, giving people free wins. We're, we're being nice. Happy New Year. So what do I do? I do standard ranked. There we go. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're hoping opponents elo. Thanks, Dandanelle. Thanks for the, the New Year's cheers. There is 61 cards in the main deck. Yep. Person donated said it was, it was a happy accident that it was 61 cards. And didn't really see anything to take out. Shock, shock, shock. That's all we do is shock. So it should be Jeskai. That's what I'm guessing. Jeskai Fires. It's like the only deck that plays Temple of Triumph that a lot of people play. And, um... Yep. So I want to just play this Vivian on turn three instead of play Knight of Autumn on turn two and then Knight of Autumn again on turn three because Knight of Autumn can just die to a Clarion. Yay, we don't have to shock. My heart big bird. In unison with the wild. We're gonna make a big bird. <laughs> Stomping time. Tweet. Vivian too strong. But I was like. I'm not going to be able to beat that Vivian. Next match. And I was like, cool. I won. 
I'm gonna write that down. Next match also. <laughs> Gilded Goose doesn't need another excuse to have an attitude. True. Oh, we're playing against Pink Floyd. Hey, I like your albums. Do you think my opponent's going to be playing um, a high alert deck? Play a wall deck? Doesn't look like it. <laughs> yeah, what comes around goes around. Now you get a free game. So lesson learned. I guess I could have just done the love the whole love struck beast thing. Oh well. I was gonna say so the the lesson here, but you know I'd have to shock. I, I just don't really like shocking that much. Lesson er lesson is just go into a match, concede, go back to the next one. Your opponent concedes. All right, so your Orzhov Doom deck has kind of fizzled out with a meta solidified eight up aggro decks, but that hasn't been delivering. I think I'm going to convert it to your Orzhov value deck in paper. You can do that for about 25 to 30 bucks. Okay. I like it. Get, yeah, give it a try. Let me know how it goes. Um, We don't really need to attack with the Lovestruck Beast. I want to keep them from attacking. Yeah. Theros does seem to have some pretty good cards for Orzov already. You know, you get the... Especially get the Puppy Dog. The Puppers... Looks like a pretty good card. Oh. You're a good card too, Hawkeye. I gave you food. What do you think of your food? You want to come up here instead? Is that Eden? That was a. That was not a very good. Light of the stage for him. That was a lot better to light the stage. That's what they needed. We're never going to be able to play the chop down, so I could just play the giant killer. The reason not to play it, I guess, is because I can neoform away the Sphinx into Oketra and then play giant killer. But it's all good. Glad they didn't have a removal spell for my little 1-1 one -one and then me be dead. Well, well, I wouldn't be dead. I meant then me not be able to attack with. The three sixes. Wow, the five fives. I'm, I'm all over the place today, okay? Thank you, homework. Who wants to thank their homework?
Is it more Jeskai? Or is it is it Flash? I don't want to play... Against is it Flash, I'd want to go Druid Goose. Against Jeskai, I want to play Lovestruck Beast. Okay, so this is a flash. like that there's keeping I don't like that too much good he's eating Just racing. You know, like they want to hold up counter magic. We have eight power in play. All right, looks like they want to hold up counter magic. I think Deputy is the least valuable of the cards in, in hand. So I'll let them use the counter spell on the Deputy. pretty well. Okay. Not bad. I think they thought that like Deputy was gonna take like one of the two creatures, but not both of them. And then forgot that it was taking both of them. That's what I'm guessing. We get to scry a lot. Am I on the draw? Pretty sure I'm on the draw, right? So I want... So I got like turn one beast, turn two gilded goose. I mean, I kind of need... Like, this looks pretty reasonable. As far as cards go. We're on the play. Still looks pretty reasonable. Did 
I need this this other land because it's a blue source. So I can go turn three Sphinx, turn four Sphinx. I guess if they kill the goose, then I got just beast on three. And then Sphinx, then Sphinx. All right, that's fine. I mean, the goose was basically just a lotus petal for me anyway. <laughs> when I sign off tonight, I should say, see you next decade. Hey, Escarier, happy new year. Go, Sphinx, go. Thanks, Garuk. Right, it's Garuk. Like that. Okay. That's pretty good. It's very good. Wow, that's even better. I was feeling... I was feeling like we were going to be winning this one, but now I'm not so sure. Do I have the ability to... Do I have the ability? No, I do not. Who just attacking with the beast? Oh man. That's what I was gonna say. Do I have the ability to not block spellbreaker if they attack with spellbreaker? I mean, this has to just be trying to set up an ember cleave turn. That's the problem. If I if I don't block, I do die to if I do not block, I die to Embercleave. If I do block I still die to Embercleave. Alright, so I'm dead to Embercleave either way. So I just gotta hope they don't have Embercleave. The untapped land was pretty nice, giving me the ability to crack this food and gain three life. Yep, yep, I agree. This is the play to win. But it did have... Did have the ability, like if I do block, then they don't. They they would have to have a land plus Ember Cleave. That maybe they didn't have the land plus Ember Cleave. Double blocking the questing beast means that we only take eight and we would go to one. All right, so we have to draw. 
Something good. That is not something good. Well, three and one's not bad. It's not bad. This is the card we needed to draw last time. Kill that Spellbreaker. That's what we needed. I don't I don't know I don't have an exact timetable for Asper control being uploaded. It's it's uploading right now. I don't I don't know the exact timetable. It's not bad. Does get underneath the giant killer. Dang, that's a lot of light up the stages. So, like, I wouldn't be surprised if they're playing, like, Riding Regisaur, um, or Spawn of Mayhem, like, things like that. The Giant Killer could kill. <laughs> All four light up the stages. Hitting another Fable Passage. That was that was really nice, obviously. good for them. Do we have ways to kill Mayhem Devil? We have Deputy. That was an end step whenever I did that. Oh wow, that was really bad by me. Yeah, this is just over. Three and two.
<clears throat> hey, Mood Ranger. Happy New Year. All right, hopefully all of our Oketras don't get thought, thought seized away this time. The triple thought seized turn. Turn three, that was pretty good. All right, Kakuna. Have a good night. Next turn, I can play Oketra and Giant Killer and make a 4-4. Four, four. We got good man over there. Cleave. Mark Cleave's gonna make life a little rough. But I do have the giant killer. You know, I want to draw an untapped land here. That'd be the best. Like where I can play Tristani and then have just the ability to tap like whatever creature has an Ember Cleave on it. I guess if they put it on the 1-1, one, one, I think I'm okay with that. Oh, that is the wrong decision. Unless, do they have... Do they have something else? That was not the card to put on Ember Cleave on. Unless they have something else. Oh, Black Lance Paragon? Okay. Okay. Um... Not really, no. <laughs> I'm so still, you think the stream froze? Yeah. I do, I do, I do that sometimes, you know, like I'm in the thinking, you know, the thinking phase and I wish I, wish I would talk more at different times, but I kind of just kind of zone out because I'm just thinking. All right, so my plan here, we're going to, oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. That just cost me this. 
that just cost me this game. Um, it probably didn't actually kick, but still, that was that was terrible. Why would you? Uh, obviously, I need to tap the druid, tap these five for this, and then the incubation druid was going to be able to add three, and then I was going to be able to tap this. Uh, that puts me down to one. I mean, like I'm dead to like so much stuff now. Yeah, like that. That kills me now. Yeah, auto dead by auto tapper. Like we were, we were def. Like I really think we were winning that. Like I don't think that I don't think there was any way we were gonna lose that. Like without the auto tapper, because like we would have tapped that down, and then we would have had a lot of mana next turn. We could like Oket we could Oketra plus, uh, play the Gilded Goose plus have two mana to tap something down, and you know like we would just have like more zo more zombies. Like that was that was a win. Kind of said put this one in the win c category. Yeah, it's it's like we we lost, but like if it wasn't for the auto tap, we would have won. Like we we should not have lost that. They would have had to have like what would they have had to have to win that? They would have had to have like another Ember Cleave one. But two, even another Ember Cleave. They would have had to have like another Ember Cleave plus a another Black Lance Paragon. Plus, they would have had to have enough creatures to be able to attack to be able to cast both. And then even then, and that that not even that turn. Like they would have had to have that later. But even then, because at that point we're gonna have like Tristani. I, I don't think we could have lost that. You know, our Gilded Goose was gonna be able to make food for us to crack. I really don't think we could have lost that. So all right, Candice. It's your donation deck. You say you put it in the win category. I'll do it. That is the, I think the first time in years of streaming that I've lost, technically lost a game and put it in the win category. This is a hand that it kind of makes me want to play the giant killer. This is one that I'm really considering putting the giant killer out there. I want them. I'd rather uh, play against Jeskai Fires with this hand. Team or Clover? Ugh. I don't know if I like that. Bone Crusher Giant still kills Paradise Druid this turn. Um, if they have Brazen Borrower, they bounce. Like Braze, I'd rather them Bone Crusher Giant kill the Paradise Druid than Brazen Borrower bounce both of these. Which obviously they can still do either one. Fun to watch. <laughs> hey, Sakrasta. Yep. Not quite Happy New Year yet, but still Happy New Year. So right now it could get like Night of Autumn. That's devastating. Well, they had their perfect hand. GG.
Hmm. I was expecting them to spy glass the Vivian, but they didn't. So it's either Night of Autumn. Could grab Kenrith that could draw cards. Or could just get Biogenic Ooze. I'm not sure you can handle what I have planned. Dang. Beanstalk Giant just gives them so much mana. The Knight of Autumn is for the Spyglass, it's not for the Lucky Clover. I still like getting the, the giant killer out of just like one bone crusher giant range make them use two my my how you've grown hmm they're just gonna let me put it back in my hand and kill more giants Yeah, good job, Contreras. Way to go. They don't get to Brazen Borrower. Now Incubation Druid can add a whole lot of mana for me. The Lotus Druid now. These pesky brazen borrowers are going to be exactly that. Pesky.
good. I'm glad they play the land. Um, that's really good for, for Fae of Witches for me. Like, they should not be playing a land. <clears throat> but I'm glad they are. Okay, so we're going to pay 4 for Vivian, 3 for Knight of Autumn, 3 for Giant Killer. Okay. So I will keep... I am gonna love tearing this place to the ground. <laughs> you were lucky to get that close. All right, that's fine. Well, now we'll just destroy the lucky lover. It's not bad. Um. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Gotta jump with that for a turn. But they probably have better draw steps. But I do get the two scries. Um, the reason not to play Gilded Goose is because of Oketra. Yeah, if I would have just played the knight first, then I could have, could have, yeah, I wasn't really expecting that, to be honest. I, I, I thought if they would have had, like, with Bone Crusher, I thought if they would have had Bone Crusher Giant, they would have killed my Sphinx of Foresight and then been, like, attacking me for a lot in the air. That's what I thought was a very reasonable thing to do, so I wasn't really expecting or playing around Bone Crusher Giant whatsoever. And so I, I honestly don't, I don't mind that too much because if, if they would have killed the Sphinx of Foresight, I would have been dead. So, uh, you know, I, I didn't really mind that my Bone Crusher, that they killed the Vivian. So I'm kind of glad, I'm actually kind of glad I, I played it in the wrong order and let them do that. They just had a, they just had an amazing hand though with Clover and then the Beanstalk Giants and just all the mana. That thing's an instant. Thank you for keep playing these lands. Hmm. 
I'd like to get Oketra, but I can't really sack Sphinx of Foresight. Um, so besides that, could play. All right, so play the Goose. I could sack the Goose and grab Crow Harpooner and kill the Fay of Wishes. I could also sack Incubation Druid and grab a Deputy of Detention. I kind of want to do that with Deputy of Detention to grab. To, gr to get rid of both these Fae of Wishes. It's going to be hard to hard to accomplish, though. Maybe I should have just taken the, the two Brazen Borrowers. Guessing they're going to grab Chandra and Chandra minus three. So I don't want to block with Sphinx. Let's start at a sizzle and see if you make it to the inferno. I've always wanted to make a really big fireball. Oh, come on, an innkeeper. I don't have enough over there. I was gonna say, how's this Crowler Pooner only 4 3? Thanks, Dan and L. Thanks for the cheers. And that, that New Year cheer. Um, Mardu Knights. We played a Mardu Knights in Historic. Um, I don't think I've I don't think I've really played too much Mardu Knights in Standard. Why don't they make a one one also? Guess they want five mana and bounce Fave Wishes. Fave Wishes is definitely a card that won this game for my opponent though. Well, I don't know. It might have been. Honestly, it might have been Beanstalk Giant. Huh. I didn't really even try to do that, but... Yeah, probably... Or, yeah, it could be Lucky Clover. Yeah, it's probably Lucky Clover. Getting, like, the extra Bone Crusher Giant that killed my Paradise Druid. On turn three, you know, going turn three, Beanstalk plus Bone Crusher Giant on turn three, or well, foot, Fertile Footstep plus Stomp. Yeah, I guess you're right. It was, it was the the turn two Lucky Clover that won this game for him. How are they still shocking in a land? What are they What are they doing? It's got to be like Expansion Explosion for a last card, right? Oh, Hydro Crisis. Well, that's a That's a card too, I guess.
Hey, Doug. Happy New Year. The thing with Mardu Knights is I just I just don't I don't like the mana. I don't I don't know if the mana is worth worth it playing over just like just playing Rakdos or playing Boros. The mana's like because you you need to be really fast with the knight deck, and so you can't afford to stumble whatsoever. But even if you draw like all shock all your shock lands, you're still you know shocking a whole lot, which hurts you in race scenarios as well. That's fair. Sure. I don't think we have anything in the deck that gets rid of Krasis. Besides, like, another deputy. Yep, too much Lucky Clover advantage from that turn three, or turn two, and then going on from there. All right, so we went four and three. Still finished with a winning record. Yeah, we had the one uh, game that uh, was a little bit of the auto-tap problem there. Um I like Sphinx of Foresight. I like Toketra. I, you know, like we just don't have the interaction with these colors that are, that's too good. Um, I could definitely see us being pretty good against the aggro decks. Um, I don't know. Kind of felt like I wanted more Neo form, more like that kind of game plan. But, you know, I guess we have like two deputies, some knights, and some giant killers. It's a little bit of interaction, but not really enough. I don't have like a great suggestion. Um,. But yeah, you know, like we're we're just like a, a beefy creature deck with Lovestruck Beast, Sphinx of Foresight, God Eternal Oketra. Sphinx was good. I I don't know if Sphinx is, is really better than Questing Beast, though, honestly. I mean, I guess that's that's the biggest thing, is is blue actually worth it? And there's a there's a pretty good chance that the answer to that question is no, blue is not worth it. Like I'm not sure Sphinx really upgrades over Questing Beast. It probably doesn't, to be honest. And if you go if you go two color, it's easier to play more Vivians. And Vivian seems like one of our, our very best cards. So there we go. <clears throat> um Yeah, kind of seemed like just, just going with Celesnia. Um you know, basically just take that out. I'm not sure exactly what we would do for these slots. You could, yeah, you could play Vivian. Um, we kind of want some more removal somehow in green-white. Maybe just play, like, Prison Realms. Yeah, there's, there's not really that much wrong with Prison Realm. Could do that. Could play, you know, like, a, a, basically instead of, instead of these four cards, you could have three Prison Realm and a third Vivian and then just play Questing Beasts. And just kind of just make that change right there. Wish Prison Realm got rid of Embercleave, but it doesn't. Yeah, you could play Wicked Wolves too, with especially with playing Gilded Goose. You could. Um, Wicked Wolves pretty good in best of one with the aggro decks. That could be an option too. But all right, there we go. That's um. That's gonna be yeah, banishing light for the next. That would be oh, just like Conclave Tribunal, honestly. Like this deck could play. This could be a Conclave Tribunal deck. You could play those, especially like the Love Struck Beast making a token. Yeah, you could just play some Conclave Tribunals too. You could do that. 
Yeah, because Tribunal gets rid of fires. It gets rid of everything. Yeah, like that, that could be an option there. All right, but yeah, we'll move on. We're going to play some standard... Sh I was going to say showdown. Shake-up. Shake-up's the word. Some standard shake-up decks up next. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, um, hope you enjoyed the deck. Hit that like button over there. Um, and feel free to leave the comments, all that kind of stuff. But uh, thank you so much for watching some Bant Midrange, and I'll see you for the next video.